This video is sponsored by Surfshark. Last week on King In It. In our attempt to get to Morocco with our van custard, we had to part ways. Our only option to get the van shipped across was a 48 hour ferry from Marseille in France to Tangier in Morocco. Amy gets extremely boat sick and she also gets very anxious before flying. I love a traveller, but we thought this would be the better option. Craig boarded the ferry with custard, and after a bit of a palaver, he managed to make it on board and was floating across the Balearic Sea. In Casablanca, however, Amy managed to get her first flight from Marseille, but missed the second one to Tangier, where we were supposed to meet. Amy is now stuck in Mohammed V Airport in Casablanca, and it's midnight. I am in the middle of the sea with no signal and no clue what's going on. You can always rely on Captain B for a wonky storyline. <laughs> Bollocks. So follow our story live on our Instagram and press subscribe to see how our story in Morocco unfolds. Ah, oh, Amy. Do I sleep here or? This is super uncomfortable, but I'm doing it anyway. I don't know how I get myself into these situations. I really wish Craig was here right now. <laughs> I'm not even joking you, I've missed the flight. I have no idea how I've done it because I was sat right outside the gate. Whether they changed the gate and, and boarded from a different gate, I don't know. There's no more flights going tonight. The girl was like, you can get a train. Uh, you can get a fast train that could get you there tonight. And I was like, okay, I'll do that. But she's like, no, they don't go now. So you have to wait until seven o'clock in the morning. And I'm like, do I sleep here or? Wow. Just knew it. There had to be something that I did wrong. I haven't heard from Amy at all. And I've gone on to the, the booking that I made. And Amy's messaged the hotel saying, I've missed my flight. I asked for a shuttle. Please let them know I'll not make it. I'll check in tomorrow instead. I don't know, I don't know what's gone on. She must have stayed at Casablanca and missed her flight. Hopefully she just found a hotel. It should be easy enough to do that. This just wouldn't have happened if I was with Craig. It's fine. I'm just gutted about the bed. Um, so I don't know where I'm going. Lots of people are pointing and checking my passport. Oh yeah, luggage. No idea, mate, no idea. Probably made it to Tangier where I was supposed to be going. Um, so, Oh yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna get that. Bollocks. And uh, just to top it all off, the Moroccan airport is like, internet, or oh, you've used your 15 minutes. Sorry about that. So, <laughs> can't contact anybody. Not that I'm gonna ring my mum and be like, can you come get me, but. Uh. She hasn't checked in, that's the only thing I'm worried about. I, I literally feel a bit sick because I'm so worried about it. Ah, oh, Amy. She had one job to get two flights and she's missed the second one. <laughs> Only Captain B and she hasn't even messaged me. I don't even know where she is or what she's doing. But I hope she's figuring it out. Um, given the current circumstance, I thought that the most smart thing to do would be to get some data on my phone. So 50 quid later, um, we've got some data to book a train or something. I am not smart. A lovely guy has told me that because I didn't take off on the plane, my luggage wouldn't have taken off on the plane. So apparently it would still be here in Casablanca. So he's called his friend and he's um, gone to pick it up. I think, I hope. Um, so yeah, plan of attack, get the luggage, uh, take the hair off, take the makeup off, and then sleep in the airport for nine hours until I can get a fast train in the morning. Oh, thank God for that. Brilliant. Oh. Just smashed my head on that bed. I feel so dizzy and sick. Oh. You know, when you hit your head really hard and you just don't know what happened, I got up off the bed to grab something and jumped back on the bed and just cracked it on the wood. Oh, that 
is not fun at all. Ah, we just shouldn't be alone, the pair of us. We're useless when we're apart. All right, time for some dinner. I've been doing some editing. My only friend is the TV. But it's a good little test, this. I think going out and just doing something on your own, because especially when you're in a couple, you get so used to just being with that person and just having them there, you know, to make you laugh or to talk. So when you're completely isolated, it's, it's really strange. Um, so I'm just gonna go and eat my dinner on my own now. <laughs> Not bad. All right, looks like this is home for the next nine hours. There's no one really about. There is a guy over there laying down. Wish I had his seat. There's not that many people here though. Like, that's not a problem. It's just like if I fart in my sleep, that guy's gonna lose me. Oh baby, he's managed to find a spot to watch the sunset tonight. It looks like it's gonna be a belter. Ah, uh, it's been a, it's been a nice day. It's been quite nice. I've had a little sunbathe on the deck. Did some editing, had a cup of tea which cost about three euros, and I've just got one more sleep, and then I'll be in Morocco. <laughs> and the wind has picked up, so I'm hoping it won't be choppy tonight when I'm trying to sleep. But it's gorgeous. So good being out on the ocean, man. So nice. Literally one of the best sunsets I've ever seen. It looked like the sun was going for a little swim just plopping himself into the sea. Unbelievable, so good man. Everyone loves a sunset. Have you ever met anybody who's been like sunsets and shit? Because everybody loves them. Time for some pasta. <laughs> okay, so we spend about 25 minutes on the floor. I've decided again to stay in at the airport. Um, I'm just gonna go to the nearest hotel and see if they've got a spot for me. Uh, Anxiety is kicking in a bit too much. I don't think I'm going to sleep at all, and also, like, lack of sleep is what brings on my anxiety, so this is probably a really bad idea. So, um, I'm just going to go to a hotel, rest for the night, and then wake up and get a train in the morning. Well, I actually don't know what's going on, but I'm in Hotel Onomo. 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 Um, bus, shuttle bus. I'm hoping if he takes me to the hotel, I'll be able to book in when I get there. I hope it's the closest one. I hope it's cheap. Oh my goodness. We are blessed, lads. There was one other person on that shuttle bus with me who could tell me how far away it was, how much this actual hotel costs, and he spoke English, and he really helped me out. So if you're watching, which I know you're not, thank you so much. One what, what am I? One, three, four. That'll do nicely. Oh, oh yeah. Class. Uh, Morocco won. Amy nil. See you in the morning. My mum always said, don't play with your food, but I've got to entertain myself somehow. So this game is called Pasta Your Bedtime. Every time I catch a piece in my mouth, I get a point. One point. Two points. Oh, cheese. Oh. I wonder what Amy's eating for dinner. She's in the Hilton. I'm in a little cabin on my own. I think this is what they call cabin fever. I've cracked that, it only took me a day. Let's go and see a man about a train. Morning. Good, good, thank you. I am really struggling this morning. I didn't sleep very well last night. The anxiety is out in full force today. And uh, I've only had like half a wrap since yesterday morning. So the fatigue and my bags are so heavy, thank God. I found a trolley, but I've been passed from pillar to post this morning, running around like a headless chicken when that's just not what I need right now. 
Um, but I think I've made my way to the train station. It's 12 o'clock, I kind of took my time this morning uh, in the hotel. I really need to sit down and breathe, I think. But I guess I'm just trying to make light of the situation, you know. But just know, this is super uncomfortable. But I'm doing it anyway. This is my friend Hamza. He's, uh, he saw me as a lost sheep and he's picked me up and he's going to take me to the train station. Yes. Merci beaucoup. Uh, I would like a fast train to Tangier. Okay, perfect. Oh, bloody hell, okay. Where, um, which, where do I go now? Four. Okay. Merci beaucoup, thank you. Okay. I'm not sure what to do with masks here. Some people are wearing them, some people aren't. It's just steaming up my glasses and giving me more anxiety. Pretty sure this is my train. Uh, just before he gave me the ticket, he was like, so you have to uh, take two stops and then change? I was like, oh, for God's sake. You know I'm not very good at this. I'm gonna try my best to get this right. Yeah. Honestly, I, I don't know how I get myself into these situations. I really wish Craig was here right now. All right, I guess this is me. For I don't know how long, I don't know when two stops go and then I get off, but I need to sit down, man. Everybody pray for me because um, I've got a change, which, um, as you know, like connected things don't usually work out well for me. So if you can all spare a thought for me today, anxiety's at like a thousand percent. But yeah, really looking forward to getting there. And I'm just, as soon as I get off this train, I'm going to ask every single person that I come across for information to get me on that next train. I will get there today. Before we continue with the video, we'd like to thank this week's sponsor, Surfshark. Tammy, we heard you like to write poems to your grandma whilst you're in the corner on your own in the coffee shop. But the problem is you're on public Wi-Fi. That means that you're vulnerable and all of your online data is not protected. Now it's all over the internet, Tammy, and everybody knows how much of a sap you are. Not only that, they have your Minecraft login your password and your details. They also have all of your contacts from your World of Warcraft and access to all of your private photos. Surfshark is a VPN, a virtual private network. And in other words, your online protector. With the VPN enabled, it secures your data using uncrackable encryption. It also lets you find better prices online. With Surfshark, you can change your location and look for the best deals available. This works like a charm with airline tickets or online shops. So Tommy, you can now get cheaper Pokemon cards and best of all, Bunsen burners. So to get your Black Friday Surfshark deal, go to surfshark.deals forward slash R-Y-O-W for 83% off and four months for free. Thank you. All right, this is me, lads. I, guess, I just had a wave come over me, like, I guess with all the rushing and all the anxiety and stuff, I just... I forgot to enjoy it and I forgot where I am and now I'm seeing real life people and you know I'm actually in the thick of it I'm really excited to be here oh man yeah I can't wait for Craig to get back so we can actually do some exploring I did have like a full day planned for today in Tangier but um, obviously that didn't go to plan this is just a matter of everybody's got up and moved so I have to um, <laughs> I'm hoping we're all going to the same place Something on there says Tangier. <laughs> okay, we're doing it. Well, this side's on the way. 
120 والمتوجه إلى الرباط أجدال القنيطرة تنجا المدينة This is what Tangier is supposed to look like. Want to know the best news in the whole entire world that you've ever heard ever? That's the train station. And that's my hotel. Just wanted to say as well, Amy. Eh? No matter how you got there, I'm hoping you got there. However you dealt with it, I know that so many people look up to you, and you give so many people strength because of how brave you are with dealing with your anxiety whilst you've tackled. I know it's probably one of the toughest things you've ever done. So I'm so proud of you, honestly. And I've missed you so much on these two days. It's bonkers. So uh, I can't wait to give you a big squeeze and uh, tell you about this boat uh, but yeah you're a lot of champion babes the more I'm thinking about it the more it's so excited I've just seen a piece of land which is Algeria so I've just seen the first piece of Africa go to Africa and Custer this is madness I am so buzzing the sun's just about to come up I nearly stayed in bed this morning as well you know when you're just so cosy you don't want to get up but you never regret getting there for a sunrise. So there you go, that's your challenge for this week. Set an alarm, go watch the sunrise, you won't regret it. I'm feeling good today, man. I'm feeling so excited. Yes! day that Craig's Ferry gets in. Oh my goodness me, what a journey to get here. I'm so glad that I finally made it. I do wish Craig was here though so he could have greeted me with like you know balloons, fireworks and stuff because I'd made him here myself. But that's okay. Um, I've been tracking his ferry all morning. So excited for him to get in. Um, I hope he doesn't have a real big kerfuffle with getting off the, the ferry and I hope he can get a SIM card straight away and let me know, babes, I'm off the boat, I'm coming for you. But yeah, I have been loving it here. Um, I had a really early night yesterday. I just ordered some room service and had a lovely bath just you know taking in my surroundings and that using what we paid for so I'm just gonna um, get up now I might have another bath it is my favorite thing to do um, and then get ready for Craig to come I've also got to go down to reception because I don't know if custard the bus is gonna fit in the car park come on Craig I'm waiting for you waiting for you to come and you know tell me how great I am how much of an independent woman I am and that you know I don't need you to travel with and that maybe a little bit maybe 50% I do oh who am I kidding Craig please never leave me again all right team that's me I'm all packed up ready to get off the boat I think we're close to Tangier Med <laughs> I've made it. All right, team, finally getting off the boat. After waiting at the dock for about two hours, the nightmare. The 48 hour boat was fine. The worst part was the ending. We were just offshore for about an hour floating around. And then when the boat finally docked, 
we stood in the corridor for about an hour because they decided to take everybody's temperatures. <laughs> what a nightmare, but heading back to Custard finally. There she is, my girl. Good to be home. It smells a bit funky in here. It's official, lads. Custer's just touched down in Africa. <laughs> I don't even know what side of the road I'm supposed to be on. We're in Africa, baby! I need a SIM card and I need some insurance for Custer's. Oh, no thanks. All right, team, all sorted. Let's go to pick up Captain B. One euro a litre, way cheaper than the UK. I've definitely landed on a new continent. The traffic's crazy, there's a lot of smiley faces, bonjour. It's a, it's a good vibe. Palm trees, it feels, feels very non-European, which is nice. <laughs> it's been so long since we've been outside of Europe. Um, so yeah, I'm buzzing. I'm so buzzing to be here. There's the Hilton. I'm here. I'm coming for you babes. I'm just around the corner. <laughs> Um, if you can just see this, I think he's actually yeah. So I'm the I'm the blue and and obviously Darwin's Craig. <gasps> Is he outside? All right, play cool. <clears throat> it's only been two days. It's feel it's felt like a lot longer. But I better go and help him park the bus. Yay! Craig's home. <laughs> Yeah, perfect! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yes, I am now! Oh. What are you like? No! No, leave me ever again! Oh, oh goodness! Well done, Pete! It's only been two days, it feels like a week! It's my whole life! It's been a lifetime! Uh, That's great. Oh, so good. You. Okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Literally sat by the gate and still missed the flip. <laughs> <laughs> Back together again. Dream team. Never leaving each other's sides, right? Right? Right, yeah. <laughs> it was like super uncomfortable the whole time. I was like trying to be brave and like use humour to sort of get through it, but I don't know. I, I kind of just felt like I've taken one step forward and two steps back. But remember, you did it without tablets, on your own, and you took, well, you were supposed to take two flights. You took one flight and a train, which is probably even harder because you had to navigate that. I know, and that's fine, you know. <laughs> I was just going to say, I'm not stupid. I am stupid, but it's so easy to just, you know, book a train and get on it. But my my anxiety was just through the roof, and I, I feel like I would, I would never want to do it again on my own, you know? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a real tough one, and I thought I thought I was going to be great, and it was all going to be fine, and you know, even without missing the plane, I was still really uncomfortable. But 
remember, you did it. So don't write yourself off because you did it. Oh, I know. So lads, let the Morocco adventures commence. Let's go and explore the country. Next time on King in It. You can't really see me, but this is really relaxing. This is a bit of a problem when I travel with Amy. Anywhere we go, Amy gets scammed. Yeah, what's that? What is that noise though? This is a brand new one. This is Custard's one. We ended up getting taken down a lane and they took all of our money.